Summer is just a couple of weeks away, which means it won't be long before we start seeing these guys again, these spotted lanternflies. It's been almost 10 years since the invasive species was first seen in our region. CBS News Philadelphia's Ross Dimite spoke with local researchers who say they're making progress in getting the insect population under control. Well, a big part of the problem is because lanternflies are not native to North America, they don't really have any natural predators here, and that's allowed their population to explode. But I spoke with a couple of researchers down in Delaware who actually went to China. They tell me they came back with a couple of predators showing major potential. The species name is Dryenus cynicus, and it has no common name. Inside this USDA laboratory on the University of Delaware's campus, researchers have been studying spotted lanternflies ever since they arrived in Berks County, Pennsylvania, nearly 10 years ago. So these females search through the environment and they attack the young nymphal stages. Their goal is to find a natural predator capable of controlling the lanternflies before this invasive species does more damage to American agriculture, especially grape growers. When they become very abundant and, and buzz around in the fall, they become bothersome to people. But the real impact of it as an invasive species, uh, the economic impact is because of its ability to attack uh, grapes. Dr. Kim Homer recently retired but still oversees parts of the project. Through extensive research, he and his colleagues have honed in on two tiny parasitic wasps that specifically seek out and attack adolescent lanternflies in their native country of China. The first of these wasps is a small parasitic wasp that attacks lanternfly eggs. And the second is another parasitic wasp, a little bit larger, that attacks the younger nymphal stages after the eggs hatched. Smaller than the size of your fingernail, Homer says you don't have to worry about these wasps stinging or hurting humans. But because they're not native to North America, it takes years of testing to prove they prefer lanternflies to other insects. We don't want these wasps to attack uh, insects that are not causing problems in North America or are beneficial. Homer says they're likely still a couple of years away from getting government permission to release these wasps into the wild. But if their tests continue to go well, he says they're our best bet to get this invasive insect under control. We're hopeful that we can eventually demonstrate that we'll be able to release at least one of the natural enemies, if not both. Uh, but we're not there yet. Uh, we just have to keep our fingers crossed and hope that uh, that's where the results will take us. So we know that lanternflies first showed up here in Pennsylvania, specifically in Berks County about nine years ago. Since then, they've spread to 17 states, and the researchers I talked to said they wouldn't be surprised if we started seeing them coast to coast in the near future. But the good news is, is that there is some hope that these tiny wasps may help us get these lanternflies under control in the long term. In Center City, Ross DiMatteo, CBS News, Philadelphia.